Hello, I am on the Isle of Wight looking for British dinosaur fossils, so this is really exciting for me. And over here we have a footprint from a Raguanodon, I'll just shuffle out the way. And that is a Raguanodon footprint right there. It's covered in algae, but the outline, the three toes, are present in this. So that's a really exciting fossil. And this has been found at Compton Bay, and all over this coastline you can find footprints from a Guanodon, and also a theropod dinosaur footprint that's been found here as well. So I'm not far away from Compton Bay, and we've been searching through the stretch of beach, and I think here we have a tiny little piece of bone. So I've come to the fossil site near Yarmouth where you can find crocodile fossils and I've been lucky. Here we've got a giant scoop and I've also found a vertebrate. And it also seems that I have found a fossil fish vertebrate here. So it's been a really good day. These fossils in particular are about 40 million years old from the Oligocene. As I was leaving the site I found another piece of crocodile bone. I also got to find fossils at St. Catherine's Point to look for ammonites, where I found a large example of a species in the rock, and I also found a lot of hedgemorph specimens. On my last day of the Isle of Wight, I returned to the southwest coast of the island near Compton Bay, where I looked for dinosaur bones, and I got pretty lucky. I found two partial remains of ribs inside blocks of matrix. Now I'm hoping to be able to prepare these out at some point, but it's just fantastic that going to this wonderful place that is the capital of British dinosaur fossils, I was able to find a few bits and pieces lying around.